Hi guys, welcome to my ISO Builder. I'm gonna make a workflow video. So I'm gonna call it something like that, workflow video. And the topic is actually Article XB. So we give you the power to build your own ISOs. Maybe you haven't heard, but you can build your own ISO. And that's what it says up here, build your own ISO. So there are tutorials, all kinds of tutorials up here. And in here, I'll make another one, a new article. And we have explained here also how to build the extended ISO, which is the ISO that promotes basically the tiling window managers. Now, maybe you've seen already that we have a new guy on the block. So there is DK and DK is another tiling window manager. Build your own Arclinx B DK. But extended ISO, well, it deserves to have this DK on it. So how do you add something, right? Doesn't really matter. How do you add something like i3, like BSBWM, like Xmonad, like DK on your ISO that you want to have? You want to have a combo, for example, of XS, which is XFCE, and then DK. So I'm going to make and show you how to make one for extended, which is probably somewhere in here, because I remember making a video in the past how to add more desktops to any Arclinx B. Arclinx B extended, adding left WM and Dusk, and I'll change or use this particular article and say add DK. So you are in control, right? Let it sink in. You are in other control if you want to change some of our ISOs, all you need to do is add some packages, build it, and don't do anything, Calamara, just say uh, easy install, and you'll have the combo, the, the packages that you selected that are on the ISO at that point, right? So this is basically what I like to do with you. And I'm gonna move this guy to the right screen. So Arcalix B extended, yeah, of course, I have everything on my machine. But um, what you'll do is, of course, go grab the code. So the Arclix B extended, let's see what we have here. Yeah, we can add more. So the number 10 will change, right? But we have choices. Now, there is no link, unfortunately, here. So you have the GitHubs of Arclix. If you just type Arclix Linux like this, you get something, right? Arclix repo, Arclix D, Arclix B, that's the one. Build your own ISO. Build, build any of these guys. Now I'm going to look for extended. And that's the one you're going to git clone. So grab the code and then you just say git clone. I just, I'll go through the motions, but I'll delete it later on, right? So git clone and then that's it. Done. And you have the same thing what I have in my folder, Arclix B and then extend it. So this is what you get. This is to put something online. That's to say I'm Eric, right? I, have, uh, I can push it. And Arch ISO read me some text for the personal folder. We have some, an idea, put everything in there, wallpapers and packages, whatever, put it in the personal and it get copied over to your ISO and it's gonna be in slash personal. Another idea to get things done. And here we have the installation scripts, nothing to change there. So the only thing you need to think about is what packages do I need to, he to have a driver, another desktop, an application, just add it to the list. And it's on the ISO. And you build it and you keep it around on a USB and that's it. And you've chosen. So you have here desktop specific stuff. And indeed this we take DK and here we call it DK and here we call it DK. But how do I know? Well, you download the Arclinux B DK, this guy, and it also has a list and you scroll down. And this is what I say we need, right? Now the polybar is probably gonna be there, right? So control find polybar. Now, if you, well, polybar is here, right? If you add 
more than one polybar, no problem, right? So you can install thousand times polybar. In the end, you'll just have the one, right? So it can have doubles and doesn't matter, but it just takes longer. That's all. Let me delete some stuff. So here, so polybar is there. DK, I just added it. The simple xorg hqd is there no need xdo is there as well as utils is there as well and a font maybe a font let's see control c control find ouch control find control v right and uh, no it's not there so i'll put it at the bottom here dk needs source code pro nerd nerd for the icons Auto render is probably gonna be there. Control find auto render is there. Voila, that's it. That's it. Now the menu is um, also working with Rofi. No problem. Rofi is there, and we have the Rofi Git and Rofi themes that's there. So voila, we're done. All it takes to get DK on extended is basically. Oh, sorry is basically adding this DK, the configuration of DK and the source code pro nerd. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. The Arch Linux uh, logout is there as well. Yep, that's it, right? Safe. How easy is this? And if you wanna have Vivaldi on your system, which is not there by default, you just delete hashtags. And if you want more, only thing you have to do is go to PAMAC. And if it's here, if it's somewhere here, but not on the AOR, of course, right? So make sure whatever application you wanna install, I don't know, order or something, something I would not install, but okay, there it is. Oh, I have it, <laughs> probably because of testing. But there you go. Um, you can add it to the list. It's on the official repository extra. As long as it's not on the AUR, because that's not a build, I, it's, it needs to be built, it's not a package, then it's okay, right? You can just add order, which is not on my list, I think. Yeah, you just put it at the end, which is easier because then at the end you can just compare with a file somewhere else and then you see everything is the same except the last line you've added it. Safe, well, safe quit that's it basically that's it right here the video mm, yeah let's end the video here and the next step next video is just run the thing run the thing but not here of course we were working on extended and then we just cannot do this open with git ahead install of course git ahead and the difference is this this has been added three things <laughs> that's it it takes three things to install DK. I put it online, say everybody can see what I've done. Add DK to the ISO. That's it. All right. Next video, we run it and we test it. Simple as number 40. Okay. Cheers.